hello guys welcome to my youtube channel again on this video i come back with another useful content that i believe if you do what i'm going to show you you will reduce losing streaks and you also be trading with fees of mine without citrus okay sometimes you wonder that um you, you you analyze the chart technically and you have been waiting for a price to reach your point of interest for you to take that short or long trade then all of a sudden when price reach so sometimes you'll be even waiting for like two to three days for price to reach your point of interest and you targeted to take that trade and you calculate your risks you calculate the pips you are targeting for but unfortunately when price reach your point of interest then price will invalidate your point of interest and take you out in most cases a lot of traders will set break even when they analyze the chart uh, we said sorry they will set sell limit or buy limit they will set a pending order over there on their point of interest so that even when they are not uh, around when price reach their point of interest the trade will automatically uh uh, be in so sometimes when prices reach the point of interest it invalidate the point of interest and take you out and i know how frustrated this can be and here is the solution okay so now let's look at this chart let's look at this chart this is gbplz one hour time frame and over here we have this order block it has the imbalance i'm not going to analyze the chart i'm just going to show us how to take a valid trade with confirmation the one that if you execute you're gonna have fees of mine okay so now this is our order block and this is as you can see this is how the trade went i i, I took the trade but uh, actually that was last week i uh, collapsed the trade somewhere around here was it 40 to 35 fips yeah so what happened is uh, a lot of times when you set a sell limit let's say you analyze the chart since this day and you set your sell limit here your stop loss over here waiting for the price to come and fix your order and start selling sometimes majority of the time price will just come and hurt you by taking your sl maybe sometimes price will come back to your desired uh, uh, direction after taking you out why sometimes price will just keep going off so now let's say you analyze this chart on your high time frame let's say this is one hour let's say you are a day trader i'm a day trader and intraday trader as well and sometimes i scalp so one hour i'm not going to I'm no I'm, i will never execute a trade on one hour okay as a day trader i will look for uh, lower time frames confirmation and this is what you're going to learn on this video and i believe if you learn it and put it into practice you will have uh you avoid many losing streaks okay so now i will move down to 15 minute time frame the same point of interest okay if i move down to 50, uh sorry let me take this back I move back to 15 time 15 minute time frame. What will I be looking at 15 minute time frame? I will be looking for confirmations as price head as price reach my point of interest. Uh, sometimes I will also go down to uh, uh, five minute time frame. Five minute time frame. Yeah, majority of the times I go back to five minute time frames. So I'm sorry, I will start from 15 minute time frames, uh, refine my point of interest. So uh, now this is 15, uh, this is five minute time frame. What am I looking for? This area, this area, this area is the one hour refine, is the one hour order block. So I will not do the mistake of putting my sell limit. Okay so because i trade based on time and fries time comes pace and then fries i trade on the kill zones windows new york kill zone or london kill zone i don't trade uh, the asian kill zone because uh the ps i'm trading they are not ideal for trading during the asian session okay so now uh, this is the this is the this is the uh, confirmation you'll be looking for okay what are you going to look firstly you are going to look for break in market structure then what then return to your point of interest 
wow this sounds cool okay now let's look at where we have the first break in market structure uh we have this this area this is the first break in market structure where fry spells to make uh higher high so this is the first break in market structure this place we have this break in market structure okay so then what would you be looking for again you'll be looking for a fdr that will that you that you capitalize to sell off from okay so as we have this break in market structure we have this break in market structure as price is returning what do we have over here just take a look we have this other block we have this other block sorry sorry this is a mistake this is the other block we have this other block right here we have an other block as well as a rejection block so i will make use of the other block to be sincere yeah so this is the five minute repine order block can you see so this is the confirmation you are looking for this is all the confirmation you are looking for because most of the times without waiting for confirmation if you take a consecutive aggressive entry if you take aggressive entry without confirmation fries will decide to hunt you down and then go on the desired direction or keep going up without giving you an opportunity to sell again but waiting for the uh confirmation you have to exercise patience firstly and then secondly uh you have to identify what you're looking for break up market structure when price trade into your high time frame point of interest then boom you go short you apply your proper risk management now look from one hour time frame from one hour time frame your stop loss let's say you 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 take a trade from here your stop loss is going to be 15 minutes uh, 15 pips from one hour time frame but look at something now that we refine and we uh have confirmations if if as we have this confirmation now our stop loss is going to reduce is going to be reduced let's let's look at it now all we have as stop loss is something around 10 pips can you see it so this is the confirmations you always be looking for but i don't say it's bad thing to set uh sell limit or buy limit it's very okay in as much as you are okay with that but this confirmation trade will save you a lot of losing streak trust me you need to practice you need to 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 adhere to this uh tactics because you 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 save yourself from losing streaks okay i hope you find this video useful see you in the next video thank you very much